Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I didn't upload last week. Last week I was going to do my top 10 NXT moments. And I I was definitely going to do that, but for some reason WWE didn't upload it as early as they normally do. Like normally they upload it around like 4:30ish where I live. And last week um, I always go to the cabin on Thursdays, and I'm leaving now when my parents get back from work in, like, an hour or two. Um, well, literally after I eat my supper, but, um, anyway, I always go to the cabin on Thursdays, and obviously I went there last Thursday, and WWE always uploads the top 10 NXT moments from each week on Thursday, um, from every Wednesday at around, like, 4.30. And so, um, I thought last Thursday, um, I was going to upload that video of me reacting to the top 10 NXT moments like I normally do. But, for some reason, they didn't upload it around 4.30. They literally uploaded literally right after I got out to my camper. And so, um, I was going to make that video and post it then, but you know data usage. I can't use up too much because if I use up too much time I'll have to pay for it. So yeah, so I wasn't able to do that last week. Um, I, th I thought I was going to be able to convince my parents to wait until I make the video. Then we'll go to the camper last week but that wasn't the case. And I literally got it to my camper and literally like not even five minutes after I got out there I got the notification on my phone saying that they uploaded the video and I was so, like, pissed. Not, like, not angry pissed, but, like, upset pissed. Like, not that I wanted to cry, but, like, you know when you're pissed, but, like, you're not angry and you're not upset either. Like, you're in between. That's how I felt. Like, I didn't want to, like, be upset over it because, like, it's just one week missing the video. Like, whatever. But, you know. I was just hoping to get the video done because I love making videos for you guys, especially like wrestling related videos. So, but anyways, um, this week I am doing the top 10 NXT moments reaction from yesterday, which was August 12th. And this is literally the first, my last video before I turn 18. Like I'm literally turning 18 tomorrow. So that's like insane to me. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I literally just got the notification, like, not even two minutes ago, um, on my phone saying that the video was uploaded, so, as soon as I got that notification, I was like, I have to, like, to, like, film it right now, before it's too late, before my parents get home, because they, they just, my dad just texted me and said they were, they just arrived at work, and it takes, like, takes them, like, an hour to finish, so, like, they do janitorial work at a place called TRA, so... Yeah, it normally takes them about an hour to an hour and a half, no less than two hours. So, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I haven't heard much of NX about NXT last night, but I'm excited to see the month, top 10 NXT on so let's just get into it. Here I am now setting up Hartwell, but Hartwell did her homework and oh, what a takedown by you! I love Mia Yim. Andy Hartwell, I'm not sure because, like, I've only seen her wrestle once against Shayna Baszler on Raw a couple months ago, and that was when she got her arm injured by her, so. But Mia Yim, I freaking love that woman. I don't know, I haven't even seen much of the Cruiserweight Champion, but I already know that I don't like him because, like, I've, like, I've seen... <coughs> I've seen, like... Half of, I think it was either two of, I, yeah, I've seen half of two of five live last night on WWE Network. It was a rerun, I think, and um, it was two nights ago. I'm not sure, but it was a couple days ago I seen that. Um, they showed like a clip from NXT of like the Cruiserweight Champion. I can't remember his name. But it was like Phantasma or some shit. I don't know, but and he like attacked Fandango and Tyler Breeze, and I was like, I instantly was like, Nah, he's not my type of wrestler that I would be into, so. Well, Speaking of. Isaiah Scott now. Oh my god, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Scott, I everything. love him. And yeah, of course I love the Dumbo too. Yes. yes. And by the way, guys, um, I'm going to pause it for a second. Um, some weeks, 
Um, I might not do a top 10 NXT Women's reaction video um, just for some weeks. It's not every week I will do that. Um, maybe next, I'm thinking of doing a video of me reacting to some um, WD Superstars TikToks because I know Nia Jax has a TikTok, Lana has a TikTok, and I have TikTok as well. And I'm obsessed with TikTok. I just posted like three TikToks just a few minutes ago. So, um, yeah, I'm obsessed with TikTok, clearly. But, um, <laughs> that's on my main account. I also have a WWE account, a Charlie D'Amelio and Addison Ray fan account. I have like five accounts on TikTok. It's pretty insane, but. Yeah, so maybe next week I'll do a video reacting to some TikToks from other WWE superstars. But I might not. I'm I'm still thinking about that. I just literally thought about that while watching, while reacting to the top 10 NXT moments. I literally just thought about doing that like two seconds ago. But anyways, let, that's, I just wanted to say that, so let's continue with the video. Bronson Reed and yeah, it's Damian Priest. I I couldn't remember his name for a second, but it's Damian Priest. I love Bronson Reed and Damian Priest. They're both incredible, especially Damian Priest. Oh my god! I've heard about this on Instagram last night. I I was scrolling through Instagram and I seen this. And I found out that the dream, Velveteen Dream, came back, and I'm like, yes, I love him, so. And I'm just confused, like, why is he not on the main roster yet? Like, that's just so confusing to me. Like, he should have been on the main roster, like, two years, like, a year or two ago. Like, it's just confusing. Oh my god, Scarlett Bordeaux is such a queen, oh my god. Karrion Cross looks unstoppable now. Like, ever since he debuted in NXT, he's been unfreaking stoppable. Oh my god, Drake Maverick. I love Drake Maverick, oh my god. And then Sweetie Deer, of course, love him too. I've heard what happened between Adam Cole and Pat McAfee. I'm really hoping they show this. I think that happened last night, but I'm not sure. I don't know if that happened last night or last week. But I heard it. I heard about it, and I was pretty shocked. But I hope, I, I've heard he's really, really good. Like, phenomenal, even. Okay, so I guess Pat McAfee and Adam Cole's situation wasn't th this past week, or yesterday, or last night on NXT. That dead stare from <laughs> Scarlet Bordeaux, oh my god. Love Keith Lee, oh my god. I've heard about this, but I never really like seen like a clip of it or whatever. But I've heard about this happening. But I was like confused, like what actually happened, because I've only seen like a picture of Keith Lee involved in it. And okay, so that happened. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't that. Wow, alright. So that was the video. Um, I w like, the whole thing didn't really impress me that much. The thing that really shocked me the most was the first, that last moment. Like, when they li like lit up Keith Lee or whatever. That was... I, w I don't want to say it's impressive, but that was really unexpected. Like, I don't know what I was expecting because I haven't seen, like, the whole clip of it yet. But I don't know what I was expecting during that moment, but I definitely wasn't expecting that. Wow. Okay. But that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye, guys.